Hello learners and welcome back to Constant Learners. We've already discussed machine learning and its types that is supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. We also discussed the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning. The agenda for this video is to revise supervised learning, understand one of its types that is classification, what is the use of classification algorithm? What is NLP? That is natural language processing. Then uh, we are also going to see how is the data classified and also see different types of classification algorithms. Now we know that machine learning is the field where uh, machines are not pre-programmed. Right? This we have already discussed in the previous videos. But rather they are fed with some data or uh, we can say some examples and uh, machines use these examples along with some algorithms to create models okay and that is how the machines are prepared to analyze new data to predict the future or to make decisions or recommendations for the future okay you can check out my video about machine learning linked above. Uh, I've explained everything about the introduction, the places where machine learning is used, how the machines learn by themselves with time and experience and examples. And I've also explained its types. So you can uh, visit that video and uh, uh, you can understand machine learning in detail. Now, when the machine is fed with proper labeled training data now what is a labeled training data like for example uh, we say apple is a fruit cabbage is a vegetable banana is a fruit onion is a vegetable so this is a proper labeled data labeled training data that means we are telling the machine the difference between fruit and vegetable right we are telling the machine which is a fruit and which is a vegetable so that is uh, this is a proper labeled training data, okay, wherein we are informing the machine which category uh, will a particular food item go in, right? So, when models are created using a properly uh, labeled training data, then we call it as supervised learning, okay? So, in supervised learning, we use a proper labeled training data along with some algorithms to create a model. I have explained this also in detail in the video types of machine learning. You can watch that to clarify the doubts about supervised and unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Okay, I will link that above and also mention the link in the description below. So that was supervised learning. Okay, now supervised learning can be divided into two types okay what are those two types first is the classification and the other one is regression okay in this video we are discussing classification okay so classification algorithm or classification is a type of supervised learning okay that means classification algorithm requires properly labeled training data along with some algorithms, okay, so that it can work on new data. So when we have to perform classification of a new data, then we will require uh, the models created using labeled training data because classification algorithm is a type of supervised learning algorithm okay now what is the purpose of classification algorithm so classification algorithm is used to classify as the name suggests right classification it is used to classify or we can say categorized okay both of these are similar both of these are similar classify or categorize the data into a particular class or we can say into a particular category. So class and category is also the same thing. Okay. So 
In classification algorithm, whenever we get a new data set, we are trying to classify it into the proper class or into the proper category. Okay? That means we are trying to recognize or uh, we can say identify or uh, understand or we are trying to predict which category or which class that particular data set will fall into. Okay, like for example, there are two categories. One is acidic and the other one is alkaline. Right, so we can say uh, lemon juice. This is acidic. This is an example of acidic solution. And um, sodium hydroxide. This is an example of alkaline solution right so what are we doing we are classifying the data into acidic or alkaline then vinegar uh, under acidic solution and uh, potassium hydroxide will come under alkaline solution okay so what are we doing we are classifying the data or we are categorizing the uh, solutions into acidic and alkaline so this is classification so this is what we are doing using classification algorithms we are just classifying the data okay so now we know what is supervised learning wherein we require a labeled training data and we also know what is a classification algorithm used for it is used to classify or categorize the data let's combine both these concepts See, for classification algorithm, some labeled training data is fed to the machine, okay? And using some algorithms, a model is created, okay? That means machine tries to identify a pattern, okay? What kind of pattern and why a pattern? So that in the future when a new data arrives, so the machine should be able to use this pattern to recognize which category will this particular data set fall into. Correct? Like we saw the example of acidic and alkaline. Right? So with the help of some training data, the machine should be able to identify that this new data will fall into which category. Whether it will go into acidic category or alkaline category okay for example we have fed the computer that an animal that eats meat is a carnivore okay so carnivore eats meat and the animal that eats plant material is a herbivore correct now suppose the machine has to classify animals into these two categories what will happen that is herbivore and carnivore. Will the machine easily be able to recognize? Yes. See, the machine is told that lion eats meat. Okay. So, lion will fall into carnivore category. Then, we have suppose giraffe eats plants. Right. So, it will fall into herbivore category. Correct. So, now the machine will easily be able to classify the data into the proper respective class or category. Okay? So, this is an example of a classification algorithm wherein the data is being classified into two or more categories. It's not necessary that there's going to be only two categories. There can be multiple categories. Okay? And this is done with the help of labeled training data. Right? This is an important point. Because classification algorithm is a type of supervised learning. Correct? So, it requires labeled training data. Now, let's get to the next point. Okay? The categories or classes into which the, uh, the data set can be classified or grouped into are also known as targets. Or we can say labels. Okay, so these classes or these categories are also known as targets or 
labels. Okay. So the output of the classification algorithm is not a solution to a problem or a value to a question. Rather, it is a category. Okay. It is a category or we can say a class because we are classifying or categorizing the data. Correct. For example, um, suppose here there are, uh, let's understand with this, uh, with this graph. Suppose here we have two classes. One is the hardware class and the software. Correct? Now suppose I have um, a list here. CPU, then uh, we have uh, Chrome, okay, then we have Keyboard. Okay, and uh, suppose we say Mozilla Firefox. Okay, and we have to classify this data. Okay, so number one, that is CPU, will fall into hardware category. Number two, that is Chrome, is a software, will fall into the software category. Then, keyboard three, it is the hardware. Firefox four, it is the software. So, what are we doing? We are classifying the data into two classes. In this case, we are classifying it into two classes. Suppose we have three classes, like we saw the example of herbivore, carnivore and let's see we have omnivore. Okay, so we have lion, then uh, we have uh, deer, suppose we have fox. Okay, so the lion is a carnivore. Okay, so it will come under this category. Then deer is a herbivore and fox is an omnivore. So what are we doing? We are classifying the data into more than two classes. Okay. So we can classify the data either into two classes or multiple classes as well. Correct. I hope that until here we were clear. Now classification algorithm is an NLP task. NLP means what? Natural language processing task. That means it can identify human language. Okay. So classification algorithm can identify the data using natural language processing. Now what is identifying human language? That means classification algorithm can, uh, you know, identify the written or spoken text. Just the way we write, like human written text or the human spoken text. It does not need, a, a, you know, a, an organized or a tabular format of data. Okay, it can uh, work on uh, data in any form using natural language processing. Okay, now depending on the number of classes, the data can be grouped into uh, two types of uh, classifiers. Okay. One is the binary classifier and the other one is the multi-class classifier. Now, as we saw in the graph, there could be two classes, right? Or there could be more than two classes. If there are only two categories or only two classes or only two possible outcomes, then we call it a binary classifier. But if there are more than two categories or more than two outcomes or more than two classes, then we call it a multi-class classifier okay now finally let's get to the different types of classification algorithms for machine learning see uh, we are going to discuss all of these algorithms in uh, the future videos right now we are just seeing which are the different types of classification algorithms so the first one is the logistic regression then support vector machines then K nearest neighbor algorithm, then we have a kernel SVM, knife bias algorithm, decision tree classification, random forest classification. Okay. Now depending on the type of data that we are classifying, we will need different types of algorithm. And how will we choose the algorithm? The choice of the algorithm will depend upon the type of problem that we are solving or the type of data that we are trying to classify that will decide which kind of uh, algorithm we are going to use okay we can either try multiple algorithms from here suppose i'm trying these three algorithms and check which one works better 
or we can choose uh, using some other parameters that we will see later in future videos when we discuss each of these algorithms in detail okay so that was all for classification algorithm in supervised learning i hope that was crystal clear now i tried to cover all the points if uh, that was helpful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know your suggestions in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching